Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of The Sneaker Firm. Today's review is going to be on a pair of sneakers I released a few weeks back. Um, so I do apologize for the delayed review. I've just been working on a few side projects so I haven't really been able to upload content. Um, however, I still did want to upload this video to kind of give you guys my review on the shoe and my take on it. So with that being said, let's just get right into the shoe. So starting off with the box, as you can see it's an Air Jordan 4 box. Um, nothing really special about it. Size 10 and a half, Air Jordan 4 Retro, NRG, Black Court Purple, Retail 200. So this is the Air Jordan 4 in the Raptors colorway. Now originally before the shoe released, it had been dubbed the Drake Air Jordan 4. And there were actually pictures surfacing online that had like, I believe Drake's signature on the tongue. However, I guess Jordan Brand did decide to scrap that project and just put the normal Jordan branding on the tongue. Now here's an up close view of the shoe um, with the Jordan tag. So one thing I really like about Jordan Brand that they've been doing lately is changing the colors on the hang tag. I think that's a really cool. Um, we're starting off with the bottom. Predominantly black bottom here with your hits of court purple and then your red. Red Jumpman logo. Moving on to the midsole. You got your purple midsole with the black speckling. Hits a black here, purple here, and then all black towards the front. With your visible air bubble here. Moving on to the upper, you got an all black suede upper, which is a really good quality. Really nice and smooth. You got the little black wing here, with your black netting. And you got the black heel tab with the purple Jumpman logo. Got your hits of red here on the lace inserts. All black tongue with your Jumpman logo. Um, and one thing I do like about this is that they made it a one piece suede, almost like laser etched Jumpman, as opposed to previous Jordan 4 models. And just to show you what I mean, so this is my pair of the Thunder 4s. Um, as you can see, this is just a nylon patch with your Jumpman logo and then it says flight underneath. Whereas on the whereas on the new pair, it's just the Jumpman logo. Really nice. Air Jordan upside down in red on the purple patch. Red insole with the black Jumpman logo. Like I said, the quality on the shoe is really nice. Hopefully this midsole doesn't chip. I know in my Thunders, they, uh, after a few months of wear, they started cracking. Which is kind of upsetting because when you pay, you know, almost $200 for a pair of shoes, you expect them to, to last a little longer than a few months. But it is what it is. So all in all, guys, this is a really nice looking shoe. I think the uh, quality and craftsmanship on this particular pair uh, came out pretty well. Hopefully this midsole holds up a little longer than my Thunder 4s did. Because um, that one, like I said, started cracking after just a few months of wear. So let me know if you guys pick these up with these a must have or an easy pass. I do have a few more shoes that I will be reviewing in the next few weeks, so just bear with me. Um, but other than that, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.